Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be talking about why your car battery dies. Let's go ahead and get started. And what I mean by that, we're not talking about if you leave your lights on, you go out to your car, car won't start, you get a jump on it, or you put it on a charger, you get it recharged, because those things can happen sometimes where it gets drained. I'm talking about, <clears throat> we have a battery here, it reached the past its three-year period. It was a three-year battery. It went out to four years when it finally died. What I want to talk about is what happens with a car battery when it finally dies as far as being totally damaged, can't be recharged, time to replace it. That's what we're going to be talking about. So what I do want to say, though, before we start, if you're looking for a good uh, battery charger, I have this cheap little charger I picked up years ago. I'll have a link across the top for the product review if you want to check it out. But I, I bought this thing probably about 10 years ago. It's worked great for charging batteries. It also has kind of the 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 uh, trickle charge so it doesn't overcharge it. Definitely a good one. If you want to check it out, you can pick it up online fairly inexpensive. I also have some other videos down in the bottom pertaining to batteries and the charging system on your car if you want to dive in a little bit deeper on that. But today we're going to be talking about what happens to a battery which breaks it down enough to where it damages it so that way it finally dies. So let's get here closer and we'll start looking at it and analyzing it. I do want to mention that I am going to be using some safety goggles and also some gloves because we're going to open it up. We're going to be looking inside of it. You don't want to be tampering with that without some protection on your skin and on your eyes. Let's start by doing a brief explanation on how a car battery works. This will help you understand what fails and causes it to finally become inoperable. If we look at this diagram, we can see the cells. Each battery contains six cells and they are used to store the energy used when under load. The battery cell contains positive and negative plates, which are immersed in sulfuric acid and water. When the vehicle's ignition is turned, the acid reacts with the plates, creating an electrical current that moves to the battery terminals and then to the starter and the electrical system. As these components become damaged, your battery will eventually fail and you'll need to replace it at that point. But if we take a look at this one here, you can see the date label is January of 2020. We are now in 2024. This is a three-year battery, so it lasted one year longer than what was warranted. And as we take a look at this particular battery here, you can see the sides there are bulging out. You can see it there, kind of the radius popped out there. Now, the swelling is a clear indication that the cell plates have expanded, and this is normally caused by excessive heat and overcharging. This can accelerate the chemical reactions inside the battery, leading to a permanent damage of the battery. You won't be able to recharge it at that point once it's damaged, but you can see it bulged out here as well, another shot of it. Now, one of the causes of overheating is due to low water levels inside the battery. So let's go ahead and open up this battery so we can check the water levels. And you want to gently remove these. As we already saw, we have eye and hand protection. You don't want to be getting any of the acid on you. And let's see here. Let me get a close-up for it. You can take a look. But as you can see down in there, taking a look in there, the water is very low. And let's move along here, see if I can get a better shot here for you. But you can see a little bit of the water here. But as we work our way back down on this one, Water levels are definitely very low and definitely the major cause of the damage. Look at that, how dry it is. You can see the plates. Water level should be approximately a quarter of an inch above the top of the plates and approximately an eighth of an inch below the bottom of the filler tubes here. If you want to see a video I did on maintaining proper battery water levels, I'll have a link across the top, also down in the description. But it's important to check your battery water levels on a regular basis. Top them off properly with distilled water as needed and that will definitely help prolong the life of your battery. And just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna get my multimeter out. Let's just check, check the voltage on this battery and we'll see how bad off this thing is. And look at that. We are at 10.58 volts, which is extremely bad. Really anything below 12 volts is bad. So this one is clearly gone. But um, if you're able to recharge it, you can. But if they're too far gone like this, you won't be able to.
Now, another cause of overheating is due to overcharging, which could be caused by a faulty alternator. It can overcharge your battery if the voltage regulator is bad. If you want to see a video I did on testing your alternator, I'll have a link across the top, also down in the description. But a clear indication that the battery is being overcharged, and we're going to take a look in a minute, is that your positive terminal, well, the post and terminal, will have corrosion on it. So if we take a look at this one, you can see some of the corrosion here. It doesn't look too bad, but if we remove it, Let's take this off so we can get a better better look because sometimes it can be misleading and it can be around the post inside of the terminal. So let's get this thing off. And look at that. You can see some of it crumbling off. This is bad, but look at the terminal itself. All inside of it is completely green. Now, with this, um, if you notice it, you can clean the post and terminals with a battery acid cleaner. I have this one here. You just spray it on. And then basically what it does is when it detects any acid, it'll turn that pinkish color that you're seeing. So we'll saturate it all over the terminal and the battery post, let it do its job, and then we'll rinse it off with water as the directions say. Once that's done, we'll dry it off, and then we'll take this wire bristle brush, clean it off real good, get any remnants of corrosion, get a nice clean, dry connection. You can see here inside of the terminal as well. Nice and clean. You can see the copper nice and exposed. Also test your alternator for possibly being faulty. Now another battery killer is vibration, which is why it's important to anchor your battery in place using the mounting plate. You can see down there on the bottom, on this particular vehicle, it mounts here and goes across the top for extra support because excessive vibration can damage the internal components because the plates can shift causing a short circuit. Now, another thing is cold temperature. Cold temperatures can also lead to the premature death of your battery. Just as heat speeds up the chemical reaction, cold can slow it down. This is why vehicles may die on a cold morning. Now, if you live in a place with extreme winters, you can purchase what I have here as a battery blanket. That'll help keep it warm. Another way to protect against damage from the cold is to keep your battery fully charged. Another contributor to your battery's demise is short road trips. This can cause a problem since your alternator never has a chance to properly charge the battery, as you can see here, and it leaves your battery drained, which can result in permanent damage. So it's a good idea to use a trickle charger because that'll help prevent this since it keeps your battery at optimal charge. Now, just to kind of sum it up, no battery will last forever, but knowing what causes a battery to become damaged beyond repair will hopefully allow you to properly take care of your battery so you can get the optimum life from it. I've had batteries that were three-year batteries last as long as over five years just because of taking care of it properly. All right, well, that wraps up this video. Just wanted to do kind of an educational video, just kind of explaining what's in there and how things fail that cause it to finally die. I hope that this uh, video was informative for you. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.